of YouTube Lemonade's Wild Boy 5699. Welcome back to Seoria as an adult. We're picking off where we left off in the last episode, which is part one or part two we're doing today. Uh, basically, in the last episode, we wake up from a coma and go back to school, I guess. So, we're just continuing where we go. Understandably, I'm able to be on this again as late as the last night. I go, I do go downstairs to see Seori isn't there. Seori? I get no response. That's odd. Seori? My voice is hitting the pan again. No, she isn't in any of the rooms either. My heart begins to race. The change that everything really happened was a dream, and this hero was really dead occurred to me. After all, I dreamt the possibility of what happened with my previous unfolding. I ran around the house looking for a while. I grabbed my phone. That's right, she had brought me this phone. She's definitely real. I read that the news message from her. Hey, Colton, you were still sleeping, so I didn't want to wake you. I left the cereal box on the table in case she needed it. Gosh, she had no idea that she nearly gave me a heart attack by leaving like that. I sigh in relief. Sorry being gone. The whole idea was crazy at the time because then why wouldn't I remember the last few years? Or how would I explain why there was so much stuff her stuff around? I was pretty pretty dumped for thinking about it. All right. Most of the morning passed away in the bedroom. As without as it was theory, there wasn't much to do. I had to work on my application as best I could. I went through the DMV booklet several times. I even went ahead and popped through your love book. I didn't see anything like that, though. I checked to see if Natsuki had sent me any more messages, but there was just one where she left to like to talk more. She wasn't online. I'm guessing much like she or she's busy with work or something. I couldn't find anything else on your whereabouts. A thought occurred to me. I still have the boss to go see your Siri buffer. Get him his lunch. Maybe I should take a first spin. I grabbed the wad of cash and went out. I just went around the neighborhood for a while before we were in the pond we had been to. It was rather nice, so I can go there. Before that, I grabbed a bagel and some ice cream for lunch. <laughs> sure enough, the health and healthy is a lot of but I better not have nothing at all. I was cycling a lot slower than usually given my recent state. Nothing interesting happened through as he left around the pond. I can see why sorry I kept wanting to come back here, though. There was a playground nearby with some ducks wallowing near the shore. I pierced through the surface and I saw some of my official easy reflection. There was an old lady feeding pigeons nearby. In short, it was the most beautiful I could imagine. Maybe Sierra was talking about every legend had got to me, and I imagined things after all. I went back home, but something wasn't gone. I spent, more, spent a bit more money than I would have wanted. I mean, this is still Sierra's money. I thought it would have been Sierra's for a job. Like Sierra, not sick he had. I could at least try working part time somewhere. I like to take a little bit of burden off the story soldiers after all. I, gra I get to the back of the house to see if Sierra hasn't arrived. Kinder girl should technically be over, but maybe she had more other duties to take care of after hours. I gave the DMV manual another read when she opens the door. Sierra works. I'm back, so how was your day? It was good. I took the old cycle out for a ride. Or, or, or new cycle, I guess. Cool, how does it handle? Really good. By the way, I wanted to give you this. It feels strange to be in prison for more money, but I didn't have any funds, plus I'd rather be cheap. I also felt like I needed to get her something she had given me, but I think it was all the cycle. Still, it was normal for a couple to exchange gifts, right? And I really felt like I wanted to do more couple stuff with Sierra. Lately, she seemed to be more babysitter or mother than rather my girlfriend. Oh wow, what's this? Ah, she puts it on her own. Well, you remember the old cycle and thinking about the old days? Maybe you remember when I saw such a guy. Oh, I get it. I kind of grew out of wearing this, but thank you for thinking of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, one thing though, do they run out of red ones? Huh? I mean, I prefer red ones. No, they had a lot of colors, so I got you one like you always wore. What? Uh, I think this is more what you call a bow rather than a ribbon. I found my brother and like she was right. She didn't wear a red bow all the time. How, she did wear a red. How could I forget that? In every memory I've had of her, she was wearing a red bow. So where did the idea of the red bow ribbon come in my head? My head begins to throb like blurry and flesh before my eyes. Hello. Monica. Ah, it hurts. Colton, are you alright? I get a spinning hand because I'm about to black out. As I was reaching Chris, the second it vanishes. Colton, you alright? You look like you were in a bit of pain for a second, huh? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry, I should remember that you had a red bow. Don't know how something like that slipped in my mind. It's no problem. This one's cute too. And anything you give me is special. I mean, I can't wear it everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to wear it everywhere. You didn't have to wear it at all just because, well, because a big shock you might see with, with the first time around. Well, it wasn't I was born with it or something. Yeah, I know. But it was a reclaim in the past. And the way it started connecting does the same just happened a few days back, but those were years away. So what do you want to do now? I mean, I have the day off tomorrow, but the DMV is probably going to be closed, so we can't go there. I know. Let's see those college applications of yours. I groaned. Here, I've been working on them for hours. I kind of don't want to look at them. Well, you don't need to look at them. I just need to. Okay, then. The two of us went upstairs. Sorry, I scanned through the room where that fell out. Seems a, li seems a little on the nose. Yeah, this thing I kind of gave trying to find. Yeah, I definitely cleaned it up later on. This 
is just a rough draft. Don't worry too much about it. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you're getting another invite for a video call. I think it's Natsuki. Oh, well, let's talk to her then. Let's probably end up on Natsuki! Or at least she looks like Natsuki. My quality isn't really that good. Hey guys! Hi, Natsuki! Sorry for bailing on you so quickly last night. I'm caught up in the new project in the firm and I'm working on the hours are crazy here. Just had a break and saw you were online. Oh, see her, you're wearing a suit now? What are you doing? I'm a teacher. Are you teaching at the kindergarten school near a regular school? Yeah. I frown. How come I never heard of it? It's open a bit after you know. So Colton, are you feeling alright now? Yeah, mostly good. Well, I still don't have any way to contact Yuri, but you, but you asked last night, so maybe I'll try again. Okay, thanks. So how long has it been, Colton? Just a few weeks at least. You seem to be sort of awkward to produce your announcement that there wasn't no focus on. There's a burning question I wanted, but I didn't want to say. It was a confirmation of some sort. Well, I'm gonna go change it to something a bit more comfortable if you don't mind. It seemed a bit of a rather than a real. Okay, bye! Well, let's hear it. Wait, I try to keep my voice down between them. Since you're here, might as well get this out of the way. Natsuki, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Go ahead. Was your father abusing you? Ooh, froze for a minute. That thing was the weirdest kaleidoscope ever in. I was back at the club, so I went all the place I could see Natsuki and Yuri. The images were a bit jumbled in my head, but I do remember Natsuki talking about something about her dad. It's for you to remember seeing cuts all over her arms. I certainly don't remember these things from the day before the festival, so it was very, you know. I, I don't want to talk about it, Colton. That was a long time ago. It looks like I really pissed her off or something. I'm sorry, I was just with the coma. I got really fixed in the point into, and so it stuck in my head. I mean, I felt like I was, it was all just yesterday. But how'd you know? I don't think I told anyone. I knew it. So there was something fishy going on. Only I had no idea what. I just sort of figured out, you know, the way I look back at it. Oh? I guess that explains it, but like I said, it was ages ago. I'm way past it now. Well, do you maybe want to meet up sometime? I think Siri would love to see you. And maybe Yuri, if I could find her, that is. Oh yeah, the club, huh? I don't really know if I can make it work with the schedule being what isn't it now. But thanks for the offer. She ended the call. Oh, I started skipping Lincoln for a few minutes. I went them and started going through Natsuki's friend list. There was hundreds of them, people she went to college and through her colleagues' neighbors and people they didn't recognize. I guess kind of... I couldn't even begin to fathom all the relationships she had now. Well, if anything, I'd be turned out for the better of her case. I turned on the CR standing in the doorway. Oh, is the call over? Too bad, then. She didn't sound disappointed at all. Not a big fan of Natsuki, huh? Well, it's not like that. What is it, then? It's kind of complicated. I think you can un I can answer. Look, when you were in the comas over the first few years, almost everyone in the school visited you. All the way up until the end of the school year. But then everyone graduated. Anyone who remember, who went to the local chorus or dropped by once a year. But the, well, not those who moved out. But after a while, it was nothing. Just me. I was the only one who kept visiting you. The rest of kind of just moved on. There was just more than a hint in my voice. I can't really blame them, though. You were nothing special to them, not like you were to me. You were just the, some guy they met for like what three days? I mean, I just don't. I just don't think it's healthy to be in so invested in reconnecting with them. I ignore the barriers from returning and focus on something else. Sorry, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, I did didn't wake up ever even now. How long do you think we're gonna live in your life attached to me? As long as you would have done for me, forever, huh? It's nothing. I tried to fight back the tears, but they wouldn't stop. I regained my phone a few minutes and went to the back of the be my bedroom. Colton, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. No, no, I wasn't sad. I just... Sure, I wouldn't want you to postpone your life because of me. Postpone? Well, I like the life I have now. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's not enough job. Are you seriously, seriously saying that I should have gone and left you? I couldn't do that. All right, all right. I took a few deep breaths. Well, yeah, I guess with Natsuki and Yuri did, you might be a little mad. Serious says. Well, not mad per se, but like I said, I get it. Only neither thing is neither of them a really big deal in my life anymore. They haven't even messaged me in years, and we kind of did the end things on a happy note, so yeah. It's a pretty awkward situation. Was it really obvious I wanted to leave the call? Yeah, kind of. You weren't this way last night, though. Well, we barely got past the formalities last night. Well, she clearly had gotten her life together from half of that. And she has a bunch of new friends, too. And maybe some of the old guys are still around. I mean, for, for the schoolmates. Maybe Colton, maybe not. Hey, I'm just sure you'll be able to make some friends later on, like in college. I don't know. Wouldn't there be an age gap? I mean, between me and them just some out of high school, um, it occurred to me no matter how much I dislike high school, my entire social life was built on it. Maybe we can go online and make some friends over the internet. Just join an MMO. Make some virtual friends. Yeah, I'll think about it. So anyway, let's go over your application. I groaned. Please, not this again. Siri, I've been looking at it for way too long. Let's literally do anything else, okay? Like what then? 
Like I said, literally anything else. Like what, Colin? I don't know. Sorry seems to be thinking hard, most likely how dumb it's for me. But I like, but like what? Do you want to see a movie? You mean like on TV? No, I mean I haven't been to a theater in some time. I love going to the theaters. That's my downtime. That's my me time. Like over seven years, you know? Well, come to think of it, I haven't dropped by a theater in a long time either. Isn't there anything we can badge? Maybe. Let's see. Well, there's this movie about aliens on, but the reviews don't look good. Crystal saying it's a terrible and the bomb pretty hard at the box office. Eh. I just want to get out of the house and go somewhere else, no? Uh-huh. I hear you. Okay, then. Let's get just get ready. Give me a moment to change. It's still really early in the afternoon. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get rained on today. Yeah. Well, it's just sunny out. Surrey has an odd look on her face. Is there something? It says we sh shouldn't be talking about the weather of all things. You don't remember, do you? Huh? About the one time we got soaked in the rain? Oh. I take a deep breath. I can't remember the day. It was only yesterday. When all those ago. We were a five or six movie. I think a bit older. I think you really wanted to see a movie. Then one day, I promise, you take me. It was cloudy, but we really didn't go on to be rushed and even bother taking the umbrella. When we got to the theater, it started drizzling a bit and just barely got it before we were almost sucked. I think you still got your shirt wet enough. Yeah, I remember it now, too. Huh? I pawned it for a second. It appears that the memories were that long ago pretty much intact, so I wasn't going crazy or anything like that. But it seems like something that would have happened to us here was incident maybe everyone. Was it really because of your brain injury? It wasn't like I had amnesia. Rather, it was more memories of that that just added up to tell me. I never unlined since forgot important details. Cinema. That's a nice cinema. Two of us get out of the car, so how does it feel to be back here? There wasn't. This wasn't the same movie that been all those years ago. Rather, didn't want to open much. Age got older. I didn't have lots of members going here, but none of them just stuck as much as they ran. It doesn't seem like a change, but well, yeah, maybe not one on the surface. To be fair, I didn't think business is going well too well for them. If you notice, you'll see a theater. There aren't any many staff members around. Psst. Hey, Stiori. Mm. Do you know that kid over there? Over where? There was a small crowd. I pointed at the kid. Oh, no wonder she's staring at me. That's one of my students. Yeah. Really, one of your students? Yeah, from the class I teach. I nearly faced my really. Ah, ha, ha. the kid approached with her. Well, behind her. She had a soft brown high mountain hair. Miss Theory, is that you, sir? Ben Dunn, she answered. Yes, nice to see you here. I can't see me. Oh, could you have seen Theory? Then again, I guess it would have been, even when I was in middle school, I would have been kind of surprised to meet one of my teachers outside of school. So maybe her confusion was a little unstable. Miss Theory, you have a nice pretty bow. Oh, thanks. Colton over here gave it to me as a present. The little girl turns him in a bit shyly towards me. Are you Miss Theory's boyfriend? Ah! <laughs> For some reason, that makes my face less embarrassing. Before we could say this, if we came any more, the girls' mother pulls her in. It's rude to ask stuff like that, alright? She's almost embarrassed as we are. Sorry about that, Monsieur. We just came over to watch a movie after school and we were just leaving. Oh, nothing. No, it's not a problem, all. See you later. Bye, Monsieur. The little girl weighs and you better. You put your bow back on? Oh, yeah, I kind of took it off when I, cha when I changed it after talking to Natsuki. But I thought if we were going to go out, might as well try to plus it in. It does match my dress. Yeah. <coughs> if I was being honest, I didn't like the fact that she was wearing the bow. On the other hand, it didn't make her look like a bit younger than she was called back to earlier days. On the other hand, it just couldn't keep something how around the color was. And, if it, and as it was, she always wore the red bow. I was still entirely kicking myself for forgetting that. How could I? I mean, I was forgetting all the stuff I can remember Sarah's birthday, or just the nagging proof of my failure as a boyfriend. But I didn't mention it. Oh, we're going to be late, so we don't hurry now. There was a minor incident where we had to go on to buy tickets. I reached my wallet before I didn't have any money. The cash was in the race and I never played for us. I guess it would have looked my lot to be an outsider. I mean, we usually split it beforehand, but I didn't have a sit to my name. Again, I felt like I should get a job as quickly as I could. But these but these thoughts left me as the movie started. Movie! I groaned. 20 minutes and it was clear that it has been a terrible idea from the start. The only other people in the besides is again, I would left five minutes earlier. I swear to involve them. The movie was terrible. We might as well watch a kid's movie earlier. I shoot them my seats, I realize something. There was no one else in the theater. We don't understand I would have been the time. We could have left talking about movies when no one would disturb us. Sarah was a bit too old, I guess. Uh, the movie didn't do so bad. It wasn't so bad. But now we were dating, we didn't really need to watch a movie, right? My heart stopped pounding. Up until now, I was basically pretty platonic. We never even kissed yet. I guess that's why we had started acting like embarrassing teenagers. I mean, I didn't. I remember how blushing when I put my hands in the mall. But I couldn't try again. I was listening and I touched her hand. So very jolted, I think, that she was half asleep from boredom. Uh, something wrong? Yeah, we were the only ones in the theater. Yeah, that movie's pretty bad. The critics weren't wrong. I leaned in closer rather than my hand tucked in back of hers and veiled my tweet. Yeah, but I mean, we're the only ones in the theater. That seems to get Sarah's attention. Yeah, I leaned over and gave her a small peck on the cheek. Sorry, lifts up their armor between us so we're sitting completely just inside closer to me. Aww. 
I wanted to see that. Two of us left. One of the employees looked us up, take a glance, and tell the movie's name was display. Did you guys really like that movie? You heard it was garbage. Oh, uh, yeah, that was kind of fine. We didn't watch the end of the movie, or at least the last 20 minutes before it happen at all. That actually kind of made it so funny because we could laugh. It was good all day. Some of us here are no, no. Well, that might have been a bad movie, but hey, if we watch something like this kid's movie, you probably would have might be there too. Oh, yeah, I guess so. What was her name, by the way? Who's the girl from earlier? Oh, her name is Monica. Hello. Oh, I see. I was still kind of getting from my first kiss, and it seemed like it was going pretty, pretty smoothly. Sorry, I had no idea the side of where to go next. So, did you want to head back home? Back home? There was another tone in that voice. I thought she was saying go home, but we're having so much fun now. Well, I mean, if you say so, I guess. Pick it up the hand, I responded. No, I mean, I don't want to go home. I just thought, you know, we were, tri we were tired after the whole day making the rest of them. But if you're cool, let's spend some time outside. So, our day, I managed to give my story to her personality. And I managed to move back home. So maybe it was better if we continue our day for now. Plus, I honestly was having a lot of fun too. Oh, thanks for worrying about that, but today was a really light day. I'm fine. As we talked back towards the car, I couldn't help but my heart pounding again. Sorry, even flums around and keeps nervous. Maybe she feels the same way I did. I mean, I was acting nervous and he was on his first day. What I'm supposed to do? Maybe it was the same for Siori. So, Colton, you didn't date. So, Siori, you didn't date anyone for a while? I mean, what about the events like prom? Well,. None of the problem it relates. For prom, I just went over a group of girls together. I think I had a picture of it somewhere and come to think of it. Huh? I felt a bit guilty for now on. I spent a great deal of my time feeling bad and everything in my stand on, but it's never occurred to Sarah's missed her quite a lot, too. Sure, she did go out going on with her life. Why did you become a kindergarten teacher anyway? Huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's Uchi someone, but why? Well, it's honestly, speak honestly speaking because they were hiring and it was in the area. I didn't really see myself doing it until after graduating and picked up a job. But it isn't bad or anything, so I really can't complain. Spurry spins, then spins the time talking about her job. She talks about dozens. Regardless, she does have a pretty happy talking about them. Sounds like a bunch of cute kids. They are. Well, most of them are. Sometimes they can be a real handful, though. Maybe you should drop by one day and see for yourself. Hey, you mean like Miss Takahashi? Huh? Who's Miss Takahashi? You don't remember? Second grade? Sorry and I have been in the same classroom in elementary school. She keeps talking about her boyfriend in between classes, and one of the times she even dropped by? Oh, right. I don't remember her name, but do -do 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 -do. Had a, he had a mustache too. I'm going to have to live with my aunt. She has a mustache, Double D. And all he did was just come and say hi, though. Hmm. Now I think about it, probably wasn't the bad theory enough. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm just not feeling it for some reason. I feel like I'm out of it. Um, but yeah, I just tried. This is my first video trying to get a tooth from getting a tooth pulled yesterday. So I'm like I said, I've been out of it the last few days. Like, I mean, I don't have any more tooth pain, tooth pain for right now. I'm just having trouble reading it, I guess. But I will continue in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, be sure to check out my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the future video. Take it easy.